Hello, what is up? This is Minecraft Bytes here, and I'm back here for another tutorial. So in this tutorial, we'll be showing you how to create a hidden lock system, which allows you to use a certain key to access um, a house or room. So basically what happens is this outputs a redstone signal, which you can then connect up to a piston door or some kind of um, hidden door or trap door or anything. So um, what you do with a redstone output is your own choice. So I'll just show you a quick demonstration, and then I'll show you exactly how to build this. So let's just remove this sand quickly and get this. Okay, good. So, um, as you can see, there is a normal looking wall over here. Uh, so you can do this inside a room. Uh, now you can see the block um, board over here. But if you move the mouse up to the top right corner, then you'll see that the block border disappears. So what happens is, once you've moved the mouse up to the top right corner, is you place a music disc into here. Uh, now this music is 13. And as you can see, there is no redstone output. So this is because this is the incorrect key. Now let's place in the music disc cat. And as you can see, there is a redstone output. And let's put in the music disc chirp, which does not give an output. So uh, this works using a jukebox lock, which will show you how to create. And I'll also show you how you can hide the jukebox. And by the way, you cannot use paintings or anything. There is a special technique to um, be able to interact with a jukebox. So let's just take the music out and let's play some cats in the background. Okay, so uh, now what do we need to do? First of all, we need to find an existing room or we need to create a wall or room. So um, three high will be uh, best. Now um, at eye level, you'll need to break two blocks. And by the way, um, uh, if this does not work for you, then you may want to retry this while facing west. Um, or if you get, press F3, then it will show F for F, the value. It will show you 1, so it will show 1 over here. Okay, so it should work with um, other directions. However, um, Minecraft can be a little buggy about uh, the directions of the compass. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, you need to place a stair. Um, by the way, you can do this with any type of block, uh, so long as um, there is a stair for that block. So you place one facing towards you like this. And then staying in the same place, place a block over here, make sure that it is a corner block. So once we have done this, uh, by the corner block, we will need to place a block and place the jukebox. Okay, now we'll be creating a jukebox lock. So we'll just need to create a small platform if uh, we do not have one yet, like this. And once we have done this, we'll be needing a little redstone. And by the way, as you can see in the inventory, um, these will be all of the items that you'll be needing. So. What we need first is a redstone comparator. So uh, we need to place this facing away from the block. And by the way, um, the way that this works is different music discs uh, give out a different redstone output when used with a comparator. So that's where you can find out what music disc has been used. Okay, so once we've done this, um, as you can see over there, uh, you will need to place uh, two redstone. Now for this step, um, this all depends on the music disc that you would like um, to be the key. You may want to do this with a rarer music disc if you're in a multiplayer server and you do not want other people to be able to access uh, your hidden door or house. Okay, so now um, I'll just show you some quick information. Uh, if you go into the creative menu in a new world, this works in survival by the way, but in creative, you'll see the order. First there is 13. Uh, now this um, is a redstone value of 1, this is 2, this is 3 and so on. So uh, what we need to do is once we've chosen a block, for example this, this may be two, you will need to place the amount of redstone um, like this. And then from this, um, on the final um, redstone count, so for example if it's two, on the second redstone you'll need to put the repeater facing away from the redstone like this. And we will need to place uh, one redstone here and a redstone repeater. Okay, good. Once we've done this, we'll need to place three redstone facing in the same direction as its redstone repeater here, one redstone over here, and a redstone repeater here. So uh, this should uh, look like this. Um, uh, basically, both of these are facing into this block here. And for this block, we will go here to the original line of redstone, uh, stand here, and then make this facing away. Okay, good. So now what we'll need to do is uh, place some redstone and if this redstone lights up, then you'll know that this works. So let's test this out. So this is um, a music disc with a uh, redstone value of one. We'll place this into here. And as you can see, there is no redstone output over here. And I'll just quickly get a redstone lamp just to prove this fact. Okay, so 
no output. Okay, good. So we can remove this by right clicking. We can put in the correct key, which is cat for this case. There is a redstone output, and we can put in a music disc with a higher redstone value. And as you can see, um, there is no output because the redstone locks. So uh, this allows for some pretty nice uh, hidden doors, multiplayer, custom maps, single player worlds. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope it helps you out. And thank you very much for watching. See you next episode. Oh, 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 o